Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, the presenter here at BOTB, where we're here this morning to judge our latest Super Drives competition, which ran from the 4th of May to the 7th of June 2020, a Palmer Sport Day for Two, which I can say because I've done it, is unbelievable. The cars you get to drive, the hospitality, and the limits you can put these cars on is so much fun. I'm now going to pass over to Alex Brooks from Onside Law, who'll oversee the proceedings this morning. My name is Alex Brooks from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges. First up, it's Matt Cannon. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and active footballer and looking forward to football resuming. Thanks, Matt. If you could now please use the secure link provided and mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. We'll then come back to you at the end for you to justify your position and for a final panel decision. Next up, it's Hugh Gilroy. Good morning, my name's Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee, mentor, tutor and observer. Next up, it's Leo Donnellan. Good morning, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex-professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Orient. OK, uh, Matt, could you please justify your selection? Yeah, there's three players in shot, uh, two players in red, one player in blue. The player in blue on the right-hand side looks like he's coming in um, to play the ball, but I don't think he's going to challenge. Um, I think the player who's uh, in the middle of the shot in red is crouching down and he's just about to, to jump and head the ball. Uh, the player in the, in the background is just looking on and I think he's... He looks like he may be shouting at his uh, fellow red player to say that maybe someone's coming in from the side that he may not have seen. Uh, and I've cross-referenced um, the red player's eyes and the direction of the blue player that I think he's looking and put the centre of the ball where my red cross is. OK, thank you. Next, Q, could you please justify your selection? Yeah, for me, I um, felt the player in red was looking up and then just slightly to his right, just from how kind of the eyes were positioned and how much of the white we could see it felt it was slightly up to the to the right as we're looking at it um i think he's kind of poised preparing to jump uh, to play the ball player in blue his necks um kind of wrinkled at the back so i felt he was looking up uh, and looking at his eye and head shape he, he was looking up for me in, in that sort of direction player in the background um, with the beard, just felt he was on looking, didn't take anything from his eyes. Um, and I just felt it was slightly to the right, so that's why I placed it there. OK, thank you. And finally, Leo, can you please justify your selection? Yeah, there's three players in shot. I think the player in the background with the beard, I think he's, uh, he's looking in, in that direction because he's quite far away. It's, it's a little bit hard to gauge. I think the player in blue, I think he, he's... He's got movement in him, so he's moving towards the ball. Uh, whereas the player in red that, uh, in the middle, I believe, is, he's crouched down. I think he's just going to jump up and head the ball. If you look at his eye line, he's got a good, good focus on that ball. And the reason I think he's going to head the ball is because the player in blue is moving into challenge. So I think he's just going to jump up and head the ball. So looking at both their eye lines, that's why I put my cross there. OK, thanks, judges. Now, Matt, as the main judge, could you please come to a panel decision with the other two judges? And for your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the three individual selections. OK, hi, guys. Um, I think we're pretty much um, in agreement of where the ball is. I'll just put the lines in. We have a very narrow field of vision up from this guy in red. And... The guy in blue is just looking across. We can't really see his eye, but we get a, a feel of how, which direction he's looking in. Yeah. So it's a very small band. I mean, the, the, the average here takes in all three of us. It's very close to where Leo shows, but with the magnifier over completely obliterates uh, both myself and, and uh, Hugh's choices as well. Um, anything anyone wants to add to... Um, to what we've already said? No, I mean, we're 
we're clustered extremely closely together um with the average covering all three of us i think that it's got to be the best spot to select um because we're all extremely close to one another i just felt it was slightly up and to the right just from looking at his the playing red's eyes yeah Um, i mean I've just I've just highlighted yours. I mean, the centre of the ball really. It's you know you put the centre of the ball over the top. It covers pretty much all our choices. Mm. The way we do it. So um, personally, I think the average is is, is um, spot on. Leo, are you happy with that? Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, the average is one of those you should use the average on this yeah. occasion. Yeah. Okay. So I'll I'll judge it average, guys. Yeah. Yeah, happy with that. Thank you very much, Matt. And all the coordinates selected are 971813. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the win of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.